Are you ready to set up your subscription of IBM Automation Workstream services? First, you'll need to log in using the link sent to your email address. Enter your existing password, or follow the prompts to set up a new password. There are three steps we need to complete to set up your Workstream subscription. First, invite users. Once you are logged in, you'll see some menus on the top next to Digital Business Automation on Cloud. To start your setup, mouse over Admin and select Access Management. Did you know your Automation Workstream Services subscription allows you to invite additional users from your organization so they can automate work with you? It is simple to invite users by entering their email address and clicking Invite. Step 1 complete. Great job! Now, step 2 is to assign access. Once invited, you need to make sure you add production environment access to all users. Please note your subscription may have different environments available than what you see here. It is also very important that you click the pencil icon on the right of each user and make them a Workstreams administrator. If you decide to keep using Automation Workstream services, your subscription can be configured to allow non-administrators in the future. Alright, done with step 2. Only one step remains, add the user to their teams. We must complete all three steps before using the sample work streams provided with your subscription. Back in Automation Workstream Services, at the top, we can click Work and then click Workplace. You may wish to bookmark this URL and start here in the future. Workplace is a central hub to configure and run your work streams and get work done. Use My Work on the right to complete tasks. Then configure new and existing work stream definitions in the middle. Be sure to check out the samples we provided and manage teams as we mentioned earlier on the left. Let's click Teams and add a new user to the two teams used in the sample work streams. Remember, it is very important that you add your users to these teams in order to use the sample work streams. First, select the Team Remote Support Provisioners to see the user list. Next, click the plus sign in the upper right corner. Search for the user by email, then select the user and click Add. Repeat the same steps for the manager's team. Great, you are all done with your setup steps and are ready to start automating your work. Let's try out a sample work stream. Click the arrow in the upper left and select Start to see the list. You will need to be a full member of the teams mentioned previously and may need to refresh your browser to see the full list. The simple work streams at the bottom are just that, simple and easy to use for checklists and approvals. Let's start the leave of absence request work stream. It'll be nice to take a break, right? When you start a work stream, you can review and configure the specific instance. This work stream has four steps, and we can assign users to each or leave them to be assigned to the default team. Some steps have additional configuration options, such as the type of approval review. Once you're done, just click Start Work Stream in the upper right, and the work will be automatically assigned. Congratulations! You completed the setup and started your first work stream. Please continue to try out IBM Automation Work Stream services and engage the IBM team with your feedback. Thank you for your time.